I played for Team Canada for a very hurt felt reason for me and my family. Uh, my dad was born in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, and my mom was born in Toronto, uh, just outside of Toronto, in a place called Peterborough. Uh, that's also Canada. So um, most people don't know that, but um, my mom passed away when I was 10 years old of melanoma skin cancer, and um, that's why I played for Team Canada. I don't know if this is what she would want me to do, but in my heart, um, it's what I feel I should do. If you talk to my dad, he's been here for 55 years in the United States. Uh, he came over when he was 12 years old, so he would con probably consider himself American, but uh, my mom is as Canadian as you can get. Uh, she never applied for US citizenship um, in the 20 years she was in the United States. So um, that's the reason I play. It's to honor my mom. And if most Dodger fans don't know, I do. There's a lot of things that go into each game that I do for remembering my mom. I wear sleeves every game. Um, that is for, uh, for my mom because she passed away of skin cancer. So it's just uh, every time I put on my tight sleeves, it makes me think of her. I wear a cross around my neck that unscrews and has her hair inside of it. Um, so Dodger fans, when you get to know me, pretty much everything I do is for my mom. And um, this is what I feel is right. Um, I know a lot of people don't understand. I was born in California. I know I was, yes I was, but in my heart, um, honoring my mother and playing for Team Canada, for me, is the right decision. Every time I talk about my mom, I get a little sad, but hearing the Canadian National Anthem is a little bit more meaningful for me. Um, I miss her, so that's why I like to do it. Uh, I like to honor her in every aspect of my life. Um, I try and do everything I can for her, so it's very emotional. When I heard the 2017 Canadian National for the first time, you know, in that atmosphere, obviously playing the Blue Jays, you hear it a lot, but hearing it with Canada across your chest, when it means a little bit more to you, so. And then obviously yesterday, I went right down in the tunnel and ran a couple sprints inside to hopefully no one see a little watery eyes, but um, you know, I just, it, it means a lot to me to be able to honor my mother and do everything I can, and I wish she was here to say, yes, you're doing the right thing. I don't know, so, um, but in my heart, this is the right thing for me. I always talk to Charlie about uh, Grandma Rosemary in heaven. Um, it's just one of those things that, like, he's, I've taken her to her gravesite a few times. She's still too young. He just looks at me and sees me crying, so he doesn't really get it, but um, I will be, obviously telling them everything I can about my, my mother as, as I get older. And they don't understand it now, but um, when they get of age, I will be telling them all about how wonderful their grandma in heaven was. And um, it just means a lot. Um, you know, I lost her at 10 years old. So, I mean, as you, you guys have gotten to know me, I pretty much do everything around my family. I spend every waking minute I can with them. And then when I go to the field, I go to the field and then come home and straight family time because like that she was gone so um i do it looking back and knowing that she i'm sure she could spend every second with her boys again and my dad but that's kind of how i've lived my life and as dodger fans gets to know me that's pretty much all it is is family and baseball for me and um seeing my boys in the stands <laughs> with a canadian flag on it's kind of funny to me but um you know, that there's a little bit more meaning for the Freeman family in that aspect. You don't have any memories of your, really, of your first five years. And then um, the last year, from nine years old to 10 years old, um, was spent in a hospital. So I only have like four years of fun, positive memories. And, um, but the one memory that sticks with me is actually when she was in the hospital um, toward the end of her life. We were all trying to stop sports and not do anything, me and my two brothers, and we would just finish school. My dad would take us right to the hospital and we'd spend all night with him. And um, she finally got to the point where she was like, I don't want you guys to come here until later. I want you guys to go play sports. I want you to go live your life, have fun, um, do the things. And obviously we we're like, no, we don't want to do that. But um, it just shows that how much she loved us and how much she just loved her boys. So. I have three boys of my own now, and she has three boys, so I'm trying to, what she showed me in the hardest time of her life is what I'm trying to do 
in my life now because you just never know um, what when God needs you and God needed an angel at 47 years old and that's okay it's okay now I think about the good times but it was really hard in that moment but how much she loved us and showed it even in her sickest of times um, that's what I'm trying to do with my boys and my wife I think even if I hit zero every single season, I think she'd still be proud of me. But, um, you know, I, I, it's, it's hard to even think about it. That's going to really get me emotional. But um, I just hope she's proud of me. <sighs> 23 years, it never goes away, but... That's all I want. I hope she's smiling now. <laughs>